So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing off the uh, uh, profile image upload uh, script by uh, associating the image that was uploaded to the uh, account of the user that uploaded it. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, let's get started. So uh, as you can see here I'm on the page and if we go to the folder you can see it's empty. So um, what we need to do, oh and I actually forgot to say uh, as you can see, my cursor has um, this yeah, like a yellow circle around it. Uh, I think it might um, improve the quality of the videos a bit. Um, but uh, if anyone doesn't like it, just leave a comment, let me know, and uh, I'll get rid of it. But uh, let's get started with the video. So since I have no images in the folder, I'm going to upload one. So um, I'm just going to upload this search icon and click Upload Image. And as you can see, that script ran um perfectly and here's our image uh so what we want to do is we want that to be associated with the logged in user that uploaded it uh so that's not too hard to do so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a table inside of our database and this table is going to be called uh or no we don't even need to create a table actually we can just go to the users table go to the structure and if we scroll down and we add a new field on the bottom of it or uh okay and um, when we're in here we create the uh, column and we're going to call it profile pick uh, it's going to be a varchar of length um okay it doesn't matter we'll just say 255 uh, and that's it and we just need to scroll down and click um save So uh, that's it saved and if we go to the browse tab now and we scroll down we can see here we have three users and none of them, for, none of them have a profile picture. So uh, what we need to do now is uh, when we move the uploaded file to the folder once we've moved it we need to associate that with the uh, user so that's easy all we need to do is create a MySQL query so we could say query equals or we could say um, I don't know uh, associate I probably spelled that wrong, so uh, I'll just say um, just a ASOC, like the shortened version um, profile pick equals uh, MySQL query and what we're going to do is we're just going to say update um, and the name of the field was profile pick so we'll say profile underscore pick. Uh, oh no, it's whoops, it's update uh, users uh, set profile pick equal to, uh, and we give the profile pick the name of uh, the name of the image. So in our case, we just need to create a variable for that. So we go up here and we just. Uh, create a variable called profile picture uh, equals um, random directory uh, dot and we just append uh, this onto the end of it so just say that and append it okay it might not actually work uh, we'll just get rid of that uh, and the easiest thing to do is say a profile picture equals random directory uh, no yeah okay, I've just overcomplicated this so you could say uh, image name equals that and then you could say profile pick equals uh, random directory dot so uh, the dot just means append and we just append the image name uh, variable and then in here we just say profile pick and then we could uh, just echo or uh, actually die success we could just say uh, image now uh, the image was uploaded successfully 
Okay, so now if we uh, try it again, and we upload default pick, and we hit upload image, the image was uploaded successfully, which means all our queries, or our, our, um, all our code is run, which means uh, this query ran. So now if we scroll down and across the user Francis, okay, so yeah, we've uh, got a problem. We just need to change this uh, query a wee bit. So at the moment we've told it to update every single user with the um, with every, every single user and set the profile pick equal to this. And that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say where username equals user. So what this will do is it should just update it for that one person. So if we go to inline edit on these two, and just delete that, and delete that, and hit save, and oops, save and up, and hit save again. And actually, well, we can uh, just delete this one as well. Okay, so we've done that, and what we're going to do is we're going to upload the image again. So we're going to click choose file, and we're going to upload the Find Friends logo. We're going to uh, click upload image, and it says the image was uploaded successfully. So now if we go to the icons folder, we can see our new image. And now if we go to our users table, and we scroll down, we should see um, whoops, that only the uh, user that was logged in has that profile image. So here it is, here's the image and uh, that's it really uploaded and it's associated with the user's account so if we go to members we can actually display this here so we will go to the members page and uh, we will just create a query so we'll say members page and actually up here we'll create the query so we'll just say get profile pick equals MySQL underscore query select a profile pick from users where oops where uh, username equals user uh, so that just gets their profile pick and we're just gonna say if oops uh, num rows Oh, whoops, uh, profile underscore pick equals MySQL num rows um, get profile pick. Uh, so what we're going to say is we're just going to, well, actually, there's no point having the num rows because num rows is obviously always going to equal one. But for the moment, we'll just leave it in. Uh, so we'll say if num rows profile pick equals one which it should uh, then we do something and or else then we're just gonna echo unknown error so echo or uh, instead of echo we'll just do die uh, unknown error so uh, that should never actually happen but if for some reason it was to happen then uh, then we can echo that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh, while uh, while row equals MySQL fetch associative uh, and what we do here is we just put get profile pick uh, then we just say Profile pick equals row profile pick. So let's uh, try this now. So if we just echo profile pick, uh, you can see here that that worked and we get echoed the uh, contents of this field. But uh, we don't want the contents of it, we want it to dis be displayed as an image. So that's easy, all we have to do is just say, um, let's just uh, surround this in double quotes. 
So that's easy now. We've surrounded it in double quotes. We just say image source equals uh, profile pick, which is uh, actually not quite right, but oops, what am I doing? So uh, the image source doesn't actually equal profile pick. It equals, uh, I think it's data forward slash. Uh, well, since we're in, okay, no, we don't need to do that. Never mind. So uh, it's just data forward slash uh, images or uh, channels, uh, images, and then icons. So data forward slash channels slash images slash icons. And this should be all we need. So now if we just refresh, uh, we get our image echoed. But since our image is, um, it's uh, actually just white, so we won't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload another one. So just go to upload. Whoops. So we're going to upload image.php and we upload a file. So that's a default pick. And we click upload image. The image was uploaded successfully and we go to the members and here it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set a default, um, I don't know, a height. So we can say height equals uh, 120 pixels. And if we refresh now, it's a lot smaller. And what we want to do is we want to have a default image. So if they don't have an image uploaded, we uh, give them a default one. So... Uh, so that's uh, actually pretty easy. All we have to do is we just need to surround this with an, in, with an, um, an if statement. And we need to say if profile pick equals nothing. So if the uh, column is empty, uh, oops, then we don't want to surround that. Uh, so if it's empty, we, um, we uh, display the default one or else we uh, give them their actual profile pick. So uh, there we have it, and um, for the uh, their own profile pic, and we need to create one for their profile pic if they don't have one. So I'm just gonna copy this, and I'm just gonna change this to default.php, and that's it. That's all we need to do. Uh, but in here, obviously, we need to create that. So I'll just copy and paste this. Uh, image one of these and this will be our default one so I'll just change this to default PNG oh wait it's a JPEG so we need to change that actually default dot JPG uh, and here JPG so now we shouldn't actually see any change because uh, it's the uh, same but if we were to Go to the uh, users table, just refresh it to make sure that uh, it shows us the most recent version. And we go to inline edit and we scroll across and we delete this and scroll back and save it. We should uh, again see no change. So we have, we um, our script isn't working. So if we just right click this, copy image URL and paste it up here and we hit uh, go to like load it object not found so we need to see why it's not being found okay so here's the actual image it's deep it's uh, actually called default.jpg uh, .jpg and we don't want that so we can just rename it just to default because it's already a jpeg so um now as you can see it's been fixed and if we go back here and refresh our image gets displayed to us and once again if I go to upload image.php and I click file uh, or choose file and I upload image uh, oops there and then that becomes my profile image well not profile Im well yes but we uh, haven't actually associated it because that's only for the profile that's not actually to associate with any channel so we still need the channel um, image upload so what we're going to do now is we're going to create an edit channel page Oops. so new 
And what it's going to be called is edit. All right, just say channel settings.php. And obviously, it's a PHP file, so we need PHP block. Uh, and like the members page, we scroll up and well, like every page really. And we just include the header to give it its style. And down here, we're just going to create a header to tag. And it's just going to be called uh, channel settings. Okay, and in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, channel channel equals get oops get oh, sorry I can't type today uh, get uh, it just says C uh, and then we could say echo channel so now if we go to uh, channel underscore setting dot PHP we get uh, undefined index because we haven't uh, that variable isn't actually being used because what this does is it extracts the C in the URL and there is none because well it extracts the C after the question mark so it will extract anything after this so if I was to say C equals test it will extract the word test after that and display it uh, but what we want to do is we want to check that that's actually a real channel and to that we're just going to just go down a bit and we're going to say uh, channel check equals mysql query and we're just going to say select all from channels where channel name equals channel here we and then here we say num rows equals uh, my SQL num rows channel check and then here we just say if num uh, whoops num rows equals zero then we're just going to actually redirect the user so we use the header function and redirect them to the index page. Else, we uh, actually want to just say echo channel. So now, if I refresh, we get redirected to the index page. But if I go back to channel settings and change it to creative code we get uh, displayed creative code. So uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Um, in the next video, we'll either be finishing the channel settings so we can display the profile images, whoops, or, or the channel images even when we upload them because that'll be easy. All we have to do is just copy the code we used for the uh, profile images um, and just change it a wee bit just to uh, us. Uh, upload it and store it in a different folder and things but it's really pretty much the same uh, we'll either be doing the channel settings or uploading videos next so um, that's it for this video don't forget to like favorite comment and subscribe and i will see you next time